Hi everyone, thanks for watching Trexpat. In this episode, I'm going to Biak, Indonesia. Biak is a big island north of Papua Island in Indonesia. There's not that much literature about it, but apparently it used to be a pretty big international tourist destination, but they moved everything to like Bali and then Raja Ampat gained in popularity, so kind of everyone goes there now. It's kind of a backwater. I didn't see a single other tourist when I was there. If it used to be a tourist destination, it's pretty sparse in terms of the facilities for tourists. I mean, they had like some nice hotels, but like no one spoke English really. And then they didn't really have that good of restaurants. And the diving even took a lot of research. Like I had to go try and find this guy's house who owns a dive shop and the dive shop was out of his house which was kind of sketchy if you're trusting your life <laughs> with that kind of thing so needless to say i didn't go diving but there is a really good wreck dive which is a seaplane from world war ii an american plane so that's pretty cool actually instead i kind of explored the beaches you can see it's pretty nice actually but it's kind of an urban place, so you found like glass on the beaches and not the nicest when comparing to other parts of Papua, especially Raja Ampat. It was a chill, laid-back place, though. It, it didn't feel sketchy, and it was pretty nice island vibe. Um, everyone is really relaxed. Here's the little harbor for the fishing boats, and here's the market. As you can see, there's a Japanese flag indicating that they have built this market together with the local community. I think the Japanese government has put in a lot of money to this island because they felt really bad for occupying it during World War II. This is the beach right next to the airport you can walk to. Not the nicest. This is another thing built by the government of Japan, which is the World War II memorial saying how awful the war was and that it should never be repeated. And here is the Japanese cave or Goa Jepang. This is probably the biggest tourist attraction here. It's really cool actually. It's a huge cave that 3,000 Japanese troops were stationed in and you can go down it. It's really a lot of stalactites and caverns and little areas and um, it was bombed by the Americans so like thousands of Japanese soldiers died and as you can see this crater from the bombing.
along with the cool cave, they also in the site had a lot of really nice, well-preserved stuff from World War II. So they had a Japanese Zero plane partially destroyed, but this was used as a kamikaze actually against the Americans. Then they had a bunch of weapons, a like mannequin dressed as a Japanese soldier. They had a lot of documents as well as a lot of like provisions that the troops used. I enjoyed the reconciliation between America and Japan that was displayed there. So <laughs> this is funny. It was a carnival. So people from different parts of Papua traveled all over and did these dances all over town. So I got to see a bunch of them as I was re riding in my <laughs> motorcycle. Here is this viewpoint. Kind of cloudy today, but yeah, still pretty good if it's a sunny day. I was followed by those cute little kids. And then here is the blue water cave, which has some stalactites. Everything seems like a cave here, but it was pretty cool even though it was rainy. It was this deep blue turquoise water inside this cave. So yeah, here's Biak. A bunch of caves, some history, good memorials. Okay, beaches. Yeah.